Hey, back again with my next review. This time it's Transformers Hunt for the Decepticon Scout Breacher. As I liked Hubcap, I also like Breacher. Breacher's coming in the second wave of the Scouts. I happen to get mine early on eBay. And in this mode, he is a blue APC. Um, he's really out of scale, more in scale with many of the bigger vehicle transformers than any of the cars as you can see right here that he's got these doors and he's supposed to be an APC so you can imagine how big this guy is he probably carry somewhere between 10 and 15 guys in here he does more than just roll and he actually rolls pretty decently yes as a turret on top that has that traverses and has an elevating gun on it the gun is actually attached to by a clip that is starting to appear on many Transformers like Dark Mount from Generations and Skystalker from the from the Nest Global Alliance Scouts. Uh, whereas Hubcap had a very simple transformation, Breacher has a really complex one, more of a complex transformation than I've seen from any other Scout in recent history in recent times. The way you start off, usually what I start off to do is pull off the gun helps get it out of the way. Next, that uh, you want to detach the shoulders. And I do want to let you know one thing, that when you detach these shoulders here, you're going to find out that there's a plug that plugs into the hole right here. This, you actually want to do that when you transform back into vehicle mode. That way it kind of helps ease things out. Oh, well, you want to open up these first, actually. These side panels. Then detach these. Straighten out the arms. Bend these panels, move over to the side, from here, move them over, like this. Then take this part, turn it around, Oops. halfway there. Sometimes I wish that you can stick around, stick him around like this. Looks pretty awesome, but he falls over on his front. So pull out the legs. Bam! Breacher. Breacher is, looks really, really good in this mode, and I hear that in this mode he kind of looks a little bit like some G1 character, I don't remember which. I just read it on some forums that I guess he looks pretty reminiscent to some G1 character. Anyhow, uh, he looks really mean, and one of my friends says that he has some of this super robot look or whatever. Not too sure which one it is. I don't really watch that much of that stuff now anymore. But, um, his articulation is a little weird. He's got these balls in his shoulders, but if you see how his shoulders kind of stick out right here, it gives him kind of an odd look. But, they work. Ball on the elbow ball in the wrist. He doesn't have any thigh articulation, just a ball at his just a ball at his hips. He's got a swivel on his knee. A hinge, I should say. And he's got ball ankles. That's about it. So he doesn't really pose as well as Hubcap does, but I think in this mode that he looks really good. He's got a nice head too. Let's get a good look on the close up on this head right here. Now where does his gun go? Actually if you notice, on his hands right here, he's got these um, bars or whatever. You can actually clip his gun onto them. Sometimes it doesn't stay very well. I have Sometimes I have trouble getting them staying on. Other times I don't, as in this case, it seems to work out pretty well. But mileage may vary, I suppose. Breacher is a really nice figure. I really like him because of the complexity that he has. I'm not like some... I'm of the camp where I like my transforming toys to be a little more complex rather than simple. And so when I got Breacher and when I started fiddling around with him, he really blew me away with just how, sim just how complex the Scout is. And it looks really good too. Um, the blue is complemented by the white on him. Gives him a bit of a really police look to him. 
I'm pretty sure he's a SWAT APC, considering the discoloration and the lack of a military-style paint. Uh, Breacher is really good. I would recommend Breacher, once again. Uh, these scouts coming out for Hunt for the Decepticons seem to be really good, aside from the repaints, if you don't already have those molds. But the new molds just seem to be really good figures, and I would recommend this scout again. Next up is going to be Breacher's partner, Sea Spray.